What's up guys, got another Unilite video here. I'm gonna try to make it as quick as possible. I know everybody's out on vacation, it's summertime, kids are out and everybody wants to get out, not much people are watching this time of year. But uh, yeah, got the 600 lumen IL SIG 1 here. Simple packaging, no sticker, just instructions and a cable, no charger, and the light itself. This is a cousin of one of the original ones here, the 1000 lumen one. I have some use on this one, as you can see. This one is basically dims down maybe from 200, I believe, dims down and then dims down from 1000 here. And this one's only a 600, but they're pretty close. We're gonna get down to them in a minute here. So this one's more basic. It'll show the 200, which is a 10 hour runtime, 200 torch, and then a eight hour runtime on 300, I don't believe it has any memory. So just 300 and then, yeah, no memory. And it goes up to 600 with four and a half hours. And then super long hours on the red, green, and yellow. So red, green, yellow, you can switch like that. Do another press for flashing. Same with the other ones. Do another press for flashing and so on with the green. And I see this as a roadside light. We have the stand just like the original. And you can stand it like that as a roadside light. And you gotta press it again to shut it off there. Yeah, I don't believe it has any memory. So um, that's it for that. And then another position out here. And then it clasps that down. Looks like it's replaceable. They might have replacement parts for this plastic piece. This surrounding piece is Metal, we have a metal heat sink there. Plastic hook that swings out. It seemed to have survived on this one. Uh, it gets loose over time. And there's the magnet right there. It looks like six magnets, or maybe the, the middle is the mount five magnets with the tape covering on that. Doesn't look like I had to replace that one yet. And uh, yeah, this part is plastic as well. And then we have a rubber surround. Uh, as you can see, the wear on the rubber surround here is uh, pretty worn out. I had it come out in a couple sections there, so it comes out a little bit, but you can easily just press it back in. Doesn't seem like that was too much of an issue there. Must have rubbed on something there, but yeah, you could just easily press it back in. Pretty robust, and uh, yeah, because it's metal on one side. Uh, there is a lot of imitations out there with their lights. It's plastic though, so keep that in mind. They do use metal on their stuff. So that's why, that's what their motto is, lights built tough. Um, yeah, it has a 440 milliamp hour battery. Let's take a look at the charging. Keep in mind there's no charger with this one, so you're gonna have to find an outlet. Looks like a pretty decent sized length of cable there. And uh, yeah, the size is pretty beefy. It's not a micro USB with slower charging. It's a thicker cable here with faster charging just because the battery capacity is a little bit bigger there. IP54 rated, just a dust cover. Keep that in mind as well. And does it work while charging? Yes, it does work while charging. So that's another cool feature there. All right, here is the green steady. Here's the green flashing. Here's the burgundy non-flashing. Here's the burgundy flashing. Here's the red steady, and here's the red flashing. Here's the full 600 lumen. That's really bright. It's gotta be more than 600. Easily do any emergency services here. Jeez. All right, now I'm curious. I got the 1000 lumen on the right and the 600 lumen on the left. Nothing the camera can pick up here. Uh, you could definitely see. Here's the 1000 lumen. And here's the 600 lumen. Pretty close. Well, all right. As you can see, it's pretty close to this 1000 lumen uh, version here. It just has the single row down the middle versus the three rows on the 1000 lumen there. And I could see myself using that 300 more, especially with that eight hour runtime. Yeah, definitely good. 
Uh, yeah, knows what the run times are still slightly li little bit lower than what they say, but it, it's pretty close on most of their stuff. I'm kind of averaging it out on most of their stuff so far. Uh, and since I had these uh, lights sent to me for a while, yeah, these were sent to me to check out. Um, I can see this being used also as a, a security light for security guards at a stadium uh, when all the cars get out, the game's over. And I can see a security guard using this um, to signal traffic and get the flow out of traffic out of the ballpark at night. And uh, I don't know about airport airline use. Uh, I'm not too familiar with that type of use. Uh, they might have to have the cones on them. I don't know what the regulations are on that. I certainly don't condone the street racing with this. Uh, hope you can do that type of stuff responsibly. <laughs> but uh, pricing, let's get on to the pricing here. As of this video, this unit right here is $107.99 on the uh, NA site, the UK site, I'm not sure. So the NA site, North America site, that's the going rate on it. It might shoot up a different time, but as of this video, it's 107 bucks. I don't know 100% if it's part of the sale, but um, yeah, that seems about right with the power that it has. I uh, just wish it had a power bank, maybe to charge your phone, make it more of an emergency unit. Other than that, uh, it's a pretty uh, robust unit compared to what I've uh, used this one so far with. Yeah, so definitely very good lights. Definitely want to uh, keep an eye on these. So for sure, guys, once again, thank you for watching and on to the next.